Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me yet again. So today I will be reviewing Paint Shop Pro version 8. That's right, they've just launched version 8, and as always, I'm here to do a review. Yay. All right, so let's get into it. So for starters, they have obviously changed the icon, so this is the new icon that you're going to get for your Corel Paint Shop Pro. And if you buy the ultimate version, you're going to get the add-ons, which is the perfect effects and the aftershot. Now, I'll give you a real quick demo of the perfect effects. So let's have a quick launch on that. So let's just grab any photo, drag it straight onto it, and here you go. So what is perfect effects? Well, perfect effect is basically uh, it's a software that gives you lots and lots of presets that you can use to change the look of your photo. So you're going to all these presets here. So let's say we're going to go to the HDR look. And then you can just quickly just click on anything and it gives, it gives you a new look to the photo that you want or you don't want. Let's, let's look at something else that, it's a little, that stands out a little bit more, uh, maybe a blur. Mm -hmm. So look, you can see all the different types. Here's a real blurry one here, so let's add that. So if this is the look you want and this is the look you get, and obviously you're going to get a lot more than this because you've got all these... Uh, brushes and tools and add-ons on the side so you can still manipulate even further or adjust the blur that how you want so maybe you just want this face uh, not blurred so you can unblur that part as well but again i'm not showing you a tutorial on how to use this i'm just showing you what is available in version 8 when you get the paint shop pro so let's get out of that and uh, no i don't need this one all right, what else? Well, obviously, we saw the aftershot, so let's grab aftershot. So here we go. So aftershot, uh, there's nothing really new in the uh, version 2, but again, this comes free as a package with the ultimate version. And if you don't know what the aftershot does, it's a raw processor. So if you get any photos that you used uh, when you made in raw, uh, you can bring it into here, process it, adjust it, denoise it, just clean up the picture. And then from here, I can easily... If I right click on this photo, I can then edit it in the Corel Paint Shop Pro. So I can launch it straight into the Corel Paint Shop Pro and then keep working it there. But I'm going to show you something really cool with Paint Shop Pro that uh, this may not even be needed anymore. And that is, let's uh, launch, let's launch this bad boy. Here we go, Paint Shop Pro. So bam, and I'll show you in a minute. So now first we've come to the adjust or the manage tab and it's identical to the last Manage tab from version 7. I do like the fact that uh, version 7 or version 8 uh, loads pretty qu quickly. All my photos are getting it loaded very fast. And the cool feature I do like about PaintShop Pro, even while it's loading, I can just, I can really start looking into the photos and, you know, I can, wow, that's a blurry photo, isn't it? I suck at photography. <laughs> Quick, get close this one before people realize it. So that's the cool feature I like about it. Now I'm going to show you something really cool, uh, one of the new features that comes with PaintShop Pro. All right, Camera Raw. So let's go into Camera Raw. So select the photo that you want and go straight into the Edit tab. Now as soon as you do that, it actually launches it straight into Camera Raw. Obviously, if it's a JPEG, it won't do this, but if it's a RAW, then it will. So here we go. This is the Camera RAW. Now, it, version 7 has a 2, but you can see that the layout is slightly different. The control panel is now on this side rather than on this side, so it's gone from left to right. And you've got an extra tab. So and what is this extra tab? Well, let's have a look. Lens tab. Here we go. So first off, I'm going to get the uh, lens correction. And that's kind of cool. So if I'm using a, a lens that gives me a fish eye or any type of distortion from my lens, I can now correct, correct that straight here in Corral, uh, PaintShop Pro. There are so many Corrals out you know, after shot, video studio. I keep getting confused. Anyway, so, so also uh, vignette. As you can see, I've got some dark corners here. So this is created by my camera. And so it's not what I'm seeing, it's what the camera's seeing. So I can fix that up as well. So let's do that. And as you can see, that brought back quite nice colors there. So that gives me an added advantage with uh, when I process photos just using PaintShop Pro. So like I said, uh, you know, the thing with uh, Aftershot is Aftershot obviously does way, way more. But if you're, if you're just doing basic stuff, then Camera Raw is going to be a really powerful add-on, especially with this new lens tab. So here's yet another new feature. It's called text wrapping, and I'll quickly show you what it does. So uh, first off, I got some words 
written on a notepad and I've already uh, copied and pasted or basically did a copy, control C. Now what I want is the letters or the words to go around my subject. So I don't want it over her, I just want it around her. So to do this, I'm gonna grab the marquee tool and I'm just gonna draw where I want this text to go. So I only want it into where I am drawing, like in the actual area. And I'm not gonna make it anything perfect like that. That'll do. I'm gonna go to the text tool, click inside the, uh, the marquee area and then control V because I already did the control C from the notepad. And then voila, as you can see, it added automatically and I control D to get rid of the marching ants. Let me just change that to my move tool, control D. And there you go. See how quickly I was able to put the letters around my subject rather than over my subject. So this is a pretty cool new feature, the magic move tool or uh, content aware fill, if that's what you want to call it. So let's see what it does. So I've got a pretty cool picture here of a guy. Let's zoom in and out of that bit. So I've got a guy standing looking at the galaxy, but you know what? I don't like him to stand on this rock. I want him to stand on this rock. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to move him. And then when I move him, it's going to take all the surrounding areas to fill in the space where he was standing. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to grab this, basically the freehand selection tool. I'm just going to roughly draw around him. I'm not going to do anything fancy like so. Now I'm going to move him to this rock. So I've got my feather at 20 and my smoothing at five. So it's going to blend in really, really nice when I start moving him. So over here, you've got this new feature here called the magic move. I'm going to click on it. Watch what my cursor does. It turns into a cross. And then I'm going to move him to put him on this rock here. Now, as soon as I release, release him, he disappears and he's over here. So the computer then basically generates what could be in this space, judging by the pixels surrounding the area that I took it off. So marquee tool, zoom out. So now I've moved him to a different rock. But you can do better than that too, obviously. You can play around with it if you want and get it perfect. But uh, I'm going to... I'm going to do one better than that. So I've got him selected, but I can also just delete him. And again, it will then do the same thing. It will take, it'll be, it's a content and it's aware of everything that's around it to fill in the missing space rather than just, you know, deleting him and then having a black spot where he was standing. So that was, that's what the move tool does or the magic move tool. You can delete the subject and the program will work out, well, what should be here if he's moved? Or you can just move the whole subject to a different spot. Right, so let's have a look at some of the other things that they have done in version 8. So when, when I said new look, it means they've taken some of the old features and, and spruced them up a bit, gave them a bit more of a, uh, a user-friendly interface. So uh, a tool that I use very often is the resize tool here. So if I import large photos, I'm not going to, you know, I'm uploading them to Facebook or to a website, so I need a smaller size. So if I click on the, uh, the new version, you can see it's tidied up by category here. If I... Hopefully I can show this in the old version as well. This is the old version here. So it's got the same thing, obviously, the button's a little bit different. But here you can see the layout's slightly different again. So for me, I find the new layout a little bit more user-friendly than the old layout. I'm not saying that this was bad, I just find that it's you know, more user-friendly. So that was one of the things that uh, I really noted. Another big feature that they have now is uh, working much easier with the layers. So over here I've got the merge, you know, merge down, flatten, visible, group. And in the new one, let's take this one away. I've got, a, I've got a few more options here. So as you can see, I've got a lot more options. I can group them, I can select them. So I'm able to work a lot faster and easier when I have multiple layers in my project. So again, they've just tapped into some of the, some of the old features and enhanced it, gave it a better look, gave it a better feature. And one of the things that I really liked was the new batch process. If I go into File, Batch Process, they made it so simplistic for you now. It's just like, hey, add the photos, batch actions. And again, if I do that in version 7, it's going to be slightly different. So I'm going to go File, uh, Batch Process. So you can see it's a, to me, this doesn't look as friendly as the other one in version 8. It's just so user friendly. Now, one of the things I can't show you in the, in the version 8 is that it now supports the 4K monitor. So if you go on these new powerful 4K monitors in version 8, the resolution or the, the, uh, the resolution comes up. So you'd be able to use the full potential of the 4K monitors. 
in version 8. So these are just a quick overview of all the new features and functions that version 8 has to offer. So I'm, I'm sure, as always, I'm going to leave out some key key uh, updates. I think brushes is another one that they really uh, enhanced on, so they got more brushes and more intuitive to use. Now, also remember this, that uh, even with version, version 7, if you register, you get another bonus, which is called the uh, KPT filters. And that's a really handy to have if you're using with JPEG files. So don't forget to register your product because you will, gonna get, you will be getting more uh, add-ons for your PaintShop Pro. So there you go. That is the new review of the Corel PaintShop Pro. And as always, thanks for watching.